Hey everybody, I'm working on a trailer for the sawmill. I've got a got the main frame all put together. It's 20 foot, so it's 37 inches wide because that's what the the outer rails on the sawmill need to be set at 37 inches. So the first thing I did was put that, put together the main frame and completely squared it up. So it's 20 foot long, 37 inches wide to the outside, and is squared up exactly as it should be. So then, I put the sawmill deck on one side, centered it, and then I'm able to bolt it down. And what I did was I had some inch and a half pieces of square tubing. I set in as standoffs for the main deck because of the bolts and, and this and the plates that are underneath the the rails. So anyway, I put the inch and a half piece of stand up, welded them to the trailer. Get in there. I welded them directly to the trailer. Let's turn on some lights in here. Let me see a little better now. And I got there approximately every two feet. A couple places I had to adjust that because of uh, interference from rails and that type of thing. But anyway, so I put the first uh, first rail down here. I had this flat up on the car lift. Anyway, I put the first rail down, bolted it on. And then I loosened up all the bolts and everything that hold the rails for the sawmill. And then I squared up the sawmill rails to the trailer rails and then bolted on the other side. So everything is exactly as it should be. So I've got both sides bolted up, squared up, and uh, so now the next step is going to be to get the wheels mounted and to get the hubs mounted so they can get the wheels on. And what I've got here is I'm not going to use, I'm just going to put the hubs and the wheels on solid, no springs or nothing. I don't plan on moving this thing around a lot, but it still will move if I need to. If I got to take it down the road a little bit, it can go. Just got to, just got to go slow with it. So I'm going to take and I've got some 2x4 cut and I'm going to double stack these here and then mount the axis to the bottom. That will give me plenty of offset for the uh, height of the wheels. Then I got to mount the went ahead and got some of these uh, levelers for the trailer, the trailer levelers, um, stabilizer jacks, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to mount these on the underside 
they have like a 20 inch uh, rise on them anyway I'm gonna mount those on the other side and these will and I'm gonna mount them long ways to the trailer so that way there nothing is sticking out nothing is sticking out to the side of the trailer the only thing only thing you'll have sticking out will be the tire and the uh, so the hub will only so basically it's only going to come out about eight inches away from the frame of the uh, the side of the trailer so anyway, that's where we're at. I'll get back to you when I get some more done. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, back again. Got the got the spindles on and ready to put that. All I did was block it. And then put a brace on the inside. There. And we got the supports on there. Of course, it's upside down. I got the tongue piece put in there. We'll try to do it with uh, just four of these supports. I might get two more later on and let me put them in this area right in here if I need it but I think these I think the four will be good depends on how how much I have to level it out so now on to I'm gonna get some some paint on this wipe get it wiped down cleaned up get the oil off of it and get some paint on here and then uh, get her flipped back over with the wheels and tires on it. See if we can't move it around. Of course, get the tongue on the very front. Put the ball Come on in. We're getting close. Alrighty. Uh, see you after a bit. Alrighty. Well, I should about do it. Wheels on. Bevels out pretty easy. So now the next step will be to get it outside and try it out. I'll we'll get a Get the head on there and get her going. So without anything on it, it's got about about 50 pounds of tongue weight right now. Not too bad. Maybe a little less. All right. Well, next time we. Get on here, it'll be out, and we'll cut up some logs. Alrighty. Well, take care, everybody. And just remember, don't ever run out of projects. <laughs>